It's World Series time once again, and the world champion Milwaukee Braves go against the New York Yankees. The Braves rested the crown from the Bombers last year and will try for two straight. The old professor, Casey Stengel, will be piloting the Yanks for the ninth time in World Series play. Other baseball men were despairing of ever beating the mighty New Yorkers, but Fred Haney is confident he can do it again. Mickey Mantle is the muscle man for the Yankees. His batting average suffered somewhat this year, but when Mickey connects, they usually break out the tape measure. He's the American League home run leader, and he is always dangerous. Hank Bauer is ready for his ninth World Series. His clutch hits have broken up many a game. The tough ex-Marine patrols the right field garden for Stengel Swatters. Meet Mr. Lawrence Peter Burr, the Yankee backstop. The fun-loving, good-natured Burr is usually called Yogi, and maybe he'll weave a little baseball magic of his own with the Milwaukee hurlers. Known around the junior circuit as a bad ball hitter, Yogi hit over 20 round trippers this year. Burr is backed up by Elston Howard, and they both help to make things right for manager Stengel. Third baseman Andy Carey displays his rifle arm. Andy's a steady performer and is enjoying one of his best years at the plate. Ex-Purdue football star Moose Scourin is the first sacker. Norm Seaburn has shaken off a plague of injuries to become the regular left fielder. He was the outstanding performer on the Yankees' 1956 rookie school, and his consistent line drive hitting has made him a 300 hitter. Tony Kubek was the American League Rookie of the Year last season. His versatility... Whitey Ford has been the Yankee bellwether for several seasons. Control and know-how have made Whitey one of the best money pitchers in the game. Bullet Bob Turley has finally had the season that experts have predicted for him since his arrival on the American League scene. He was the winningest pitcher in the league with his first 20-game winning semester. Here we see Turley in action along with the tight Yankee defense. Jerry Lumpy starts a snappy double play to give Turley another win. Turley's good year may earn him the starting role in the opening game at Milwaukee. Ryan Duran has been the ace reliever on the staff. He has apparently recovered from a mid-season beanie. The Milwaukee Braves have a power pack lineup. Featured in the attack is Hank Aaron. He was the National League batting champion last year. Cameron Hank is noted for his powerful wrist action. The youthful slugger got off to a slow start this year, but he finished strong. This is one Brave the Yankees wish would stay in the TP. Red Chaindeans is a team player deluxe. He's ready for action after suffering from a leg injury. Frank Torrey has been a pleasant surprise. He took over the regular first base job and has been a 300 hitter through most of the season. Wes Covington was a star in last year's Fall Classic. He is one of the most valuable men in the league. like this one tell you why Logan is popular in Milwaukee. Ed Matthews has hit over 250 home runs in his seven-year major league tenure. He's the third base guardian in the Brave defense. Catcher Del Crandall is the team captain and an all-star performer as well. The Braves pitchers credit him with much of their success. 37-year-old Warren Spahn had another 20-game season. This made him the first Southpaw to win 20 games for nine years. Rookie Carlton Wiley has one of the best earned run averages in the league. Bob Buell has returned from the disabled list and should help. Lou Burdett won three games in last year's series. And it looks like another titanic struggle for baseball supremacy.